Hi, uh, you're watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at the MJX Bug 2W GPS drone. Hi and welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the Bugs 2W following on from the 501 S Pro that we did the other week. Very similar type of drone. In fact it looks virtually identical. Very similar shape, the finish. But this one's a high gloss black which looks really really nice. Got the Bugs logo, the now famous eyes and four brushless motors and the difference between these and the newer type ones is this has screw on propellers so it has the type, I prefer these type with these metal nuts if you like, hand tightening nuts that you just screw on and nip up by hand and this run has a different controller. This is the older style controller, but it does exactly the same as the newer type does. So on your screen it tells you your height, your depth, your signal strength, your battery for your craft, your battery for your controller, and how many satellites you've got. So on here you've got GPS on, GPS off, headless mode on, headless mode off, auto take off, auto land, unlock motors, Return to home, which is, a long, which is press and hold, and then short press for photo, long press for video. It runs on the Bugs Go app, which is this here. I'm, I'll show you how to, what the app looks like later, but this is the app. It's called Bugs Go. It's the same one that the 5 and the 5W and the 3 Pro use. You just select 2W on here. Now, it doesn't have the same features. This doesn't have the features of... You've got no waypoints on here or stuff like this. This is a simple camera drone or a GPS camera drone. And that's what you're buying. So, as you can see, I see that the image resolution is good on the. You can see that nice and clearly. There you go. A little lip round. So, the image is good on here. The range is decent. You can get a good range on this, but we'll go through more of that in part two when I go through um, the flight characteristics and I'll show you the flight footage recorded on the phone, on the app, and also recorded from my GoPro so you can see how stable it is in the air, what it looks like when it's flying. And that will come up in part two of this video. But in the box you get this, the, the transmitter, a charger, this clip that goes onto the back of your antenna there, just pull that pin, drop it on, it holds your phone. You get the Bugs 2 user manual, which is very good. The Bugs manuals are very, very good. And a quick start guide. So this is your quick start guide, which is handy just to leave in the box. I'll just put it in your pocket when you go out for the first time. So when you first turn it on and you get ready to fly, it's going to flash like this. And this is telling you it's in compass calibration mode. So it's a standard affair, obviously do this outside and not inside. When your lights change to green as they have there, sorry about that, when your lights change to green, on nose down and again, there you go, and now you've got reds on the front, green at the back. You're now ready to fly. So it has nine satellites. So this is ready to go. So it is different than the 2W, than the sorry, than the 5W and the Pro. It flies different. It flies very similar to the 501S. I think it's a little bit more stable than the 501S, if I'm being totally honest. But they, they are similar in a lot of ways. These come in at around. If you shop around, they vary dramatically in price to about £145, I've seen them going on free bit. I bought this brand new, well, an open box for £90. So it was very cheap, which is why I bought it. Uh, I bought it simply because I wanted to review it and compare it against the 501. I didn't have one. Comes with a spare set of props, obviously the charger, and it's incredibly nicely finished off. The one thing I would say about this is it's just well made. It's very well made. So the SD card slot on the side, as you can see here. Uh, I'm running on 16 gig. I believe you go up to 32. It's 1080 camera, the same as on the 501S. And you can see the picture on your screens. Decent. So let's just turn it off a minute. So there's no on and off switch on the bugs. It's simply a matter of 
pull your battery out. So the battery it runs on is an 1800 mAh 25C 2S battery with a which is proprietary but you can still run it on other stuff. It's got a G, um, XT30 so you can put your own battery in here. You can see there's a lot of room and plug an XT30 in the back and it's just a matter of fashioning something to hold it and you can use a bit of tape or something if you wanted but you can, I've seen people use this back plate get spare one of them or take this one off and they just clip that in. Now what I would say is about this is the great thing about this of course as well is it doesn't need to have a proprietary battery charger you can use any hobby grade charger because in there is your balance plug you just flick it out and you can charge it on a normal balance charger. Charges much 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 quicker than using a supplied charger. In fact I don't use the supplied charger that comes with it I charge it on my normal charger. It also comes with, if I can find it, which I quite like, this little black plastic thing that goes in your battery. And that's so you can store the battery in the back of the drone, but it won't plug in, which is a nice feature, a nice safety feature. Uh, as you can see, the app's gone off there. So quality-wise, very, very good. The finish of the drone is what you'd expect from MJX, and it flies like an MJX. They all fly differently. It doesn't fly like a Bug 3. It does fly more like the Hubs than like I said, but I think it's more stable. So, thanks very much for watching. In part 2 I'm going to have the flight footage, my thoughts on the characteristics of how it flies compared to that and the other stuff around for that money. So you've got this, the Ascendma, and the 501S. And I suppose in that category you could put, you can get a second hand Parrot Bebop. So these are all I get for what I'm comparing it to and I have to really compare it to a 5W because although it wasn't out when this came out, it is now out and this is actually more money than a 5W to buy. So, as I say, thanks very much for watching, join me in part 2 and have a great day. Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.